Oh no, I don't have any right triangles. Oh no. What, Kirby? What? Use the law of sines and the law of cosines? Oh, yay. Okay, awkward, but I was bored and wanted to do something else. And Here, you want to see the room again? Say, hey, here's the law of signs. Capital letters, those them there are the um, angles. The small ones there are the side. Hey, we're given this. Two angles and a side. Let's see. You pick the one that you know two parts of. I know both parts of A. So I write sine of 47 over little a, which is straight across from it. And then I want to find little b this time, so I write sine of 51 degrees over little b. So what I'm going to do on the calculator is take this times this, divide by this, put in everything, I mean everything, in parentheses. So here I'm going to be doing this as you're going to be looking at this poster. So oh, you're looking at that and I'm typing 27 times the sine of 51 degrees divided by the sine of 47. For those that didn't think that's what I was doing, well that is what I was doing. I'll hit enter. And I find that B is about 28.7. It's still there. And B is about 28.7. This angle, B is a little bit bigger. The side's a little bit bigger. That's good. Say so it would be super easy to find this angle, 180 degrees. You know, subtract it. And then do it one more time.